Hey guys, what's up? We are out on the ice in the Lower Peninsula on none other than Lake Mitchell in Cadillac, Michigan. Um, this is our first ice trip of 2022. It's January 2nd. Can only get one day earlier than that. Um, today we're going to set up the iFish Pro. We're going to set up our tip-ups. Um, we're going to try to catch whatever we can. We got some crappie and perch minnows. We got some shiners for the tip-ups and... I'm gonna try to catch bluegill, perch, sunfish, crappie, whatever old bite today. We got our new setup, first time in the Lower Peninsula, our new otters out here. First time on Moss Outdoors that's featured in a video, that's exciting. Um, we probably got like four or five inches of ice out here. It's pretty solid black ice. Um, it's kind of cool because you can actually see the air bubbles earlier before it kind of got all melted up. but. It's going to be a good day. We'll see what we can catch and we're out here in the Lower Peninsula. Bend the camera thing. The what? Watch this perch come up for my bait at 10 feet. Alright guys, what's up? We, uh, I got one tip upset and I just caught the first fish of the day which was a little perch. Um, we definitely have a whole bunch of them down there, and Melissa's hooked up on one now. Wow, Another little guy. Massive. We definitely, I think, had some bigger fish in here just a little bit ago, but getting the bite was difficult. My, my trouble hook is just a... Oh, jeez, that's a nice one, dude. Dude, that's big, whatever that is. I can see it. Oh my gosh. Oh my what? <laughs> That's a slabber right there, boys. I was gonna say, there's definitely bigger fish down there. I was just sitting that, with that thing there. Alright, well, this might be an Let's interesting Let's see it, day. Ty. Oh, I can't get the freaking. Here, you can get it with the bait right in there. How about that? Good shot of that? That's probably. I bet that's a. 10 inch or probably get the one at nine out. Huh. Oh yeah, she's probably about 10. Okay, that's the biggest it. perch I've caught through the ice in a long time. Is it recording? Yeah. All right, let's record. Let's go, dude. That's like a dude, 10 that's or 11. A, dude, that's a tank. That's bigger than mine. Boys, we are on them. Dude, right that now. thing was in like. Eight feet of water. Dude, I could tell that was huge because your rod was like <laughs> bent all the way over. We got twin sisters right now, boys. Alright, sorry, we just missed. If, if you missed that, Melissa just pulled up a tank perch. We were. I thought we were gonna lose it at the hole because I thought it was around the transducer and I was gonna jump down the. I saw it swimming over there and I was like, oh my goodness, what is I that? Could, well, here's I the cool thing is like. Melissa shoveled off all the ice, and the ice is all just Snow. complete black ice. So like, you can like see the fish coming up around when you're pulling it up, and it's kind of cool. So uh, we're definitely um, it's probably going to be kind of a long day of like just hot and cold is is what I'm guessing. Um, is that that's probably what's going to happen. So there's probably going to be times where we're going to you know we'll pull up a couple fish because I literally I caught a small one and then she caught that like at the same time and so there's probably there's probably gonna be hot and cold times so, so we'll definitely settle for that i mean we already got two probably 10 11 in, inch perch on the ice so you know the crazy thing is i don't think we really came out here to target perch mm -hmm. i think we were thinking more like bluegill <clears throat> crappie but we'll take it anyway i would say that you really cannot argue with the like quality i mean like Probably like 50% of the fish we catch are keepers right now. And a lot of times when you catch, like, at least we have this problem when you start getting into perch on lakes, like, they're like tiny. Like, you gotta sort through a whole bunch of little ones. And then you still don't get a big one. <laughs> we suck at perch fishing. Um, in our defense, we don't perch fish. Yeah, we really don't. We just kind of fish for, like, bluegill and then we end up catching perch is normally. We also, I don't think we mentioned this in the intro, but we pretty much worked our butts off to get out here because we walked almost a mile from the boat launch we went at, and so 
Yeah, that was a lot of work. Right now our keeper count's also at three. Uh, Melissa picked up a little... I shouldn't say little, but... No. This is gonna be a little. <laughs> Jeez, easy! <laughs> I almost reeled oh it through Lord. my eyelet. <laughs> that thing almost went through the top of the shanty. <laughs> almost went through the eyelet. <laughs> I don't even know where the camera's at, so... It's not even... A, my fingers are longer than this thing. I almost think the mark on, like, doesn't pick up my jig because it thinks that it's just a bad mark or something. Yeah. I'm sure it knows the difference between that. It's not a smart gum. <laughs> a smart gum. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I can't wait to put that in the video. No! Oh, my mark gum doesn't my mark my jig cut. because uh, it just thinks it's a bait fish. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that might be a nice one. That's another keeper, I'd say. Let me see how, I want to see how long those are. Actually, wait. I probably should leave my bait down there. Sorry, one second. Hold on, him. You get him I want to see if we're, like, keeping quality fish or not. I just caught another one. It's not a ten and a half or inch, but it's a good one. Definitely gonna be kept topside. Just put in the frying pan. You break your, you just broke your treble hook. I didn't. Yeah, it's all bent, isn't it? Oh, I can do that. That's a nice one. Not huge, Not but huge, it's definitely but a keeper. Yeah, it's probably seven, eight incher. Melissa's tearing it up on this little spoon that she has. I switched to a spoon and got a bite right away, but now they won't yeah, bite it. Yeah, it's in the Northland tackle spoon. And I'm just dropping it down to bottom, maybe reeling up about six, seven inches. Well, I'm not gonna say that. I'll say six to ten inches. And then just dead sticking. I was jigging, and I guess dead sticking has been working good for me the last, what, ten minutes maybe? So I think I'm gonna try this for a little while, and yeah. And in the I, midst of all of this, her rod's broken. <laughs> yeah, my rod is broke. I don't know if, like, the paint's just chipped on it or if it's actually, like, the blank is broke on it, but I don't know. Until it shatters, I'm going to keep using it because it's still effective. <laughs> that might be one of them. That's another keeper. Dude, that spoon is lethal, man. Why are they doing this? They like curl up and like see. I think they are like. Okay, guys. This is my fourth keeper. Probably my second biggest one. It's a chunk, honestly. Like it's 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 chunky. It's all flared up right there. It's kind of a cool picture. Um, I'm just using this northland tackle it's a blue top silver body and then like an orange spot on it with just a waxy hanging off of it so yeah we're gonna get a picture of this what's the battery then we got a double header keeper baby i'm trying to sorry i'm trying to hook my Woo! mine's a little bit small but we're gonna throw them in it's a good fry they're about the same the, they're twin sisters kobe finally got my kobe. second keeper how many are we up to six i'm at six you're only a two? Yeah. Sorry, they didn't, didn't, didn't mean to call him out on that. He was setting up tip-ups for about 20 minutes, so he's behind on that. Hi, guys. Um, hopefully you can see me. I'm stretching my legs currently because my whole body hurts from sitting on a bucket. One thing we also didn't mention is we forgot our lawn chairs that we normally use. And our boots. In our boots. They're at my grandma's house, which is pretty much halfway across the state, away from Mount Pleasant. So, um, yeah. Uh, which, the boots, we've been doing alright. Melissa's rocking the Uggs. I got my, just my, like, hiking boots on. But they're hanging in there, but the chair thing is starting to hit, because we've been out here for, like, I don't even know, like, we've probably been fishing for, like, four or five hours now. Yeah. In the butt is starting to hurt at this point. So I'm trying to stretch my back out a little bit. Have a lot of respect for you elder folk that... Uh, the five gallon bucket challenge. Yeah, you guys sit on a five gallon bucket for six hours. I don't know how you guys do that because I can't take it. Um, we got 
a couple. I mean, like, we got two, four, six, eight, nine. How many do you have over there? Tyler has two. I got nine. So we're at 11. All right, guys. We might have a weight surgeons. Your coat's not in the water, is it? No. Just put on that side. I just caught a nice, this right here, which I know it's going to look tiny from a long ways away. But I don't even know if you could see that. It's right in focus on it. Um, yeah, I just caught that. That's the biggest one I've caught since the 10 incher that I caught earlier. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna let the camera run for a minute and see if we can pick away at some more here. Another ice fishing tip that I know from experience, and Tyler can attest. Close to keep it. I'd keep that. Really? I think so. Yeah, it is kind of long. Anyways, another ice fishing tip that Tyler and I can attest to is if you ever want to catch a fish, just put your rod down in the hole, dead stick it, put your rod on the ice, um, and open up a sandwich. Okay guys, we're going to do a quick outro here while it's not too dark and you can still see our faces. Just went outside, took a couple pictures, you can see those, maybe in the thumbnail, maybe on Mouse Outdoors, on their Instagram, maybe right here at the bottom, that's some editing for Tyler to do. Um, we did pretty good today, It's it was like a slow day, like midday, morning was pretty good, midday was kind of slow, but it was still sporadic bites, and then now it's kind of like picking back up again, um, I don't even know what time it is, maybe like 4 o'clock, 4.30? Sure. But um, we're going to keep fishing till dark, but we just wanted to do a quick outro for now because... You might it, not be able to see us in a half Yeah, hour. you're not going to be able to see us soon. And well, actually... I, so, Lake Mitchell folks watching this, you're first, there's a first for everything. New Year, new us, right? Lost Doors has some big things coming this year. Not sure what yet, but we'll get them at you soon. And... Lake number one? Check. In the books. Didn't get skunked either. Check. A PB for me through the ice for a perch for sure because I've never really caught perch through the ice except for maybe like a couple eight or nine inches last year and I got 11 unofficially. But maybe I should measure that right now. I think Tyler's is bigger than mine and he doesn't think so but I think it is. Oh! You gotta scooch it up a little bit because that's not the. There you go. That's the end. Pinch her to 11. Uh. Pinch it. Oh! oh! Pinched, she's 11. Not pinched, 10 and 7 eighths. She's bigger than Tyler's, and that is confirmed. Um. For the record, Melissa outfished me in every asset possible today, and I'm missing plates right now. See if I can get this on camera. Oh yeah, she is a beaut, nice chunk. So yeah, we got some nice keepers. Tyler definitely has like a twin sister to this, maybe a half inch shorter and then a little bit skinnier. But yeah, she will do for me my first double digit perch through the ice, and hopefully not the last, because that'd be tragic. <laughs> Okay, catch you on the next episode.